Okay, in this video we're going to look at the notion of an initial, initial point of a vector, a terminal point of a vector, and some operations that you can do with vectors. So, as we can see here, the initial point is the starting point of a vector and the terminal point is the ending point of a vector. So if we think about the vector as an action, like an action of movement, then the initial point is the starting point of the object um, before the vector has acted and the terminal point is the final point of the object after the vector has acted. Okay, so let's look at some examples. So, if we look in the plane, maybe here we have the point 2, 2, and then here we have the point 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here we have, like I said, this is 2, 2, and this is 4, 6, and we look at the vector between these two points. We call this maybe V. Notice the initial point of V is given by this coordinate 2, 2 and the final point of V is given by this point 4, 6. Okay, good. And you might say, well, what's the vector itself? Um, and the vector itself is like the difference of those two points. So here we can see that the vector v is given by uh, 2, 4, because we had two units of motion in the uh, x direction and four units of motion in the y direction. So this is like the terminal point minus the initial point. And I'll put that in quotes because that's not a super proper way to look at it, but that's like good enough. Okay, good. And another way that we could uh, notate this is as follows. So if we call this point A and this point B, then we would uh, sometimes call this point, or sorry, this vector AB with an arrow over it. So that's like AB. Okay, so let's look at one more example. So let's say we have this point 1, 2, 3, 1. So let's say this is 3, 1. And then maybe this point down here, negative 1, negative 2. And let's say our vector in this case is going in this direction. Great. And let's maybe call this vector W. Okay. And notice that we could say the initial point of W is equal to 3, 1 in this case because we put the arrow going down and left, and then the terminal point of W is equal to negative one, negative two, in this case. Great, which means uh, W is equal to, so we can think about the terminal point minus the initial point. And so, notice we've got <coughs> negative four units of movement in the x direction and we have negative three units of movement in the y direction so we get a vector negative four negative three okay good so I'll clean up the board and then we'll look at some vector addition okay good so now let's look at vector addition and we're going to do this in a very graphical way first so given two vectors v and w the vector v plus w may be found by putting the initial point of W on the terminal point of V. So let's see what that looks like. So let's say we have two vectors here. So let's just draw them graphically. So let's say that V looks like that vector right there. Great, and then let's say W looks like that vector right there. So now what we want to do is redraw this picture so that the initial point of W is on the terminal point of V. Okay, so let's draw this thing down here maintaining the direction and the magnitude. So that looks like a copy of V. Great. And now we're going to take this W and transpose it down here. So that looks like uh, it's about right here. So there's W. 
And now our new vector will be gotten by connecting this initial point of V with the new terminal point of W. So we have that right there. This is V plus W. Okay, good. Now, um, I'll erase the board, and then we're going to look at this uh, in a more arithmetic way, given um, vectors that look like they're coming from R2 or R3. Okay, so now let's look at a more concrete example. So let's say we have V equals 2, negative 3, and let's say we have W equals negative 1, 5. So we could draw a picture out for this. Notice here we have V is 2, negative 3, so we could go here 2, negative 1, 2, 3. And now notice that makes V equal to this vector right here. So I'll underline this in uh, red. And now W is negative 1, 5. So that's going to put us uh, backwards one unit and up 5. So if we do that from the terminal point of V, we'll go here, back 1, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <clears throat> so that would be up here. So let's draw W going up that way. So let's underline that in blue. And now just reading it off, it looks like this should be the coordinate um, 1, 2. So that's this final terminal point. But we can draw that in, and that will end up being the sum of the vectors. Okay, good. So let's read the direction that we went here. So here we went v and then w and that gave us this new vector right here which is v plus w okay great so notice it completed a uh, triangle in this case so now uh, let's look at this arithmetically and notice that if we take v plus w we get 2 minus 3 plus negative 1, 5. But now we can just add it up and we get 1, 2, which is exactly what we had with this geometric version. So it's actually as simple as just adding the components in each vector. So notice we did 2 plus minus 1 equals 1, and we did negative 3 plus 5 equals 2. Okay, so let's look at another example real quick. So we can easily expand this to three dimensions as follows. So here we have two three vectors, 1, 2, minus 3, plus 4, 5, 2. And notice that's going to add up to the vector 5, 7, minus 1. Okay, good. So... Um, so as you can see, there's a nice geometric interpretation for adding vectors, but it's also pretty simple to do just arithmetically if you see that all you need to really do is look at the components of the vectors. So my suggestion is that on the surface, you should just add the components, but sometimes when you're solving a problem, you may also need to think about it geometrically, so keep that in the back of your mind whenever you're doing these problems. Okay, so this is the end of this video.